Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is the part of my channel where I talk about my plant collection and my plant journey. And if you are returning, welcome back. I hope everyone has been enjoying their summer. Uh, I think when you see this video, it will already be August. So happy August to everybody. Um, today, I just wanted to make a video um, showing all of my plants that I grew um, from a propagation, actually. Oh, and hold on, give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just as I was doing my intro, I realized that I forgot a plant. And I was like, oh, that's going to be hard for me to get to during the video. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so I decided that I wanted to make a video showcasing all the plants that I grew from either a cutting um, that was given to me by a friend or that I got in a trade. Um, I feel like most of my plant collection is propagation, from propagations or cuttings. So I have a lot, a lot, a lot of baby plants. And that was really hard for me um, to come to the realization a few months ago that, you know, this is why either, you know, my plant isn't shooting off any pups or, you know, that it needs a little bit of different care than what I'm seeing in some other people's videos. I feel like I've learned a lot because I started with a baby plant rather than a mature plant. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. I have a lot. I have to say out of my plant collection, I think I'm at 40 maybe 50 plants now. I think I want to say like 80% of those plants are all from propagations, babies, cuttings that I got from um, other people. So let's just start off with who I, well, it'll be hard to go on a timeline because it's a little, so let's just start with who's on my desk here. So this is my golden, golden pothos. I got this in an exchange for knitting a dog sweater for someone in my neighborhood and she just gave me a few of these golden and I think one is a marble uh, pothos cuttings. So I just pop, got these guys in December guys. I have to say, they took forever to shoot off these new leaves. I had, I had this leaf and I had this leaf. That was it, two leaves. And for many months, I said, this is not doing anything. And then in April, it shot off tons of new growth which I give many props to Liquid Dirt. That's what I use as some plant food for my plants. I am gonna start using more fertilizer as well because I think that's technically not a fertilizer. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. But that's my golden slash marble pothos. Um, also from that same person, I had gotten a few pieces of a um, philodendron Brazil. Please don't mind this gross Everyone knows the fungus gnats, they're around. Um, this is my philodendron Brazil, which I also only had two cuttings from. And um, only just recently did I get another, another cutting, two or three cuttings from another friend. And I have some that are still propagating that I'll add in. So really, really, really has come a long way so far. Growth has slowed down a little bit, so I'm, I'm trying to think if there's something I'm doing wrong but I'm not sure. I did change the spot that it's in. So that of course might be a contributing factor. From that same person, I got, which this is one of my favorite plants, my uh, Teardrop Peperomia Pixie Lime, which I love, love, love. And I don't know if I should give her maybe a support pole. Oh, we got a mushroom in there. I gotta take that out later. Do you see that? Ooh, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them at all and they grow really fast and they kind of creep me out a little. Um, but I don't know if I should give her a support pole. I also am thinking of snipping and propagating. But friends, help me, I'm so nervous. Should I just propagate from a leaf or the stem? And when I cut it, I feel so silly. I'm still new. I just have to say that as well. If you're new to my channel, I'm very new at houseplants. I'm still learning as I go. But when I cut, is it going to continue growing there or did I or did I hurt it and it won't grow anymore from there? Because I'm having a whole bunch of growth happening like down here next to the gross mushroom. But I don't know. And I know I can propagate these from leaves, but I 
kind of also feel like I want to make this a fuller pot. And she might need to be repotted soon, actually. I don't know. But she's just taken off. Growing like crazy. I think when I got her, she was this tall. So she has definitely been good to me. Um, and I think that's all from that one person who gave me lots of plant cuttings to get me started. Because honestly, I think I had my Fitonia, which doesn't quite look like a Fitonia anymore. I had a cactus and then a, a bigger Fitonia in my living room that's in a hanging planter. And that was the start of my plant collection. I didn't have anything else. So she really gave me some of my first, first, first ever cuttings um, for me to take care of. And then in this little pot, this one hangs out in my bathroom. This is a heartleaf uh, philodendron that I got from my mom. So I got my mom this really cute plant for Mother's Day and it had a big, 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 big vine of these heartleaf philodendrons and I cut some. And this is another plant that I cut in October of last year off of her. And it sat in water, it had good roots, I planted it up and it didn't give me growth until almost May. Isn't that crazy? So I started off with just this leaf and just this leaf right here. So all of this is all new growth. So that's my heart leaf philodendron. And now I'll just go by what I have sitting here. No dates, no anything. Um, sorry about the lighting. I keep, the sun keeps going in and out. This is my Tradescantia, I think Zabrina. This I got from cuttings from a few different people and I just recently cut her again so that she'll branch out and so that I can fill in the pot a little bit more. Doesn't seem to want a trail. She's very happy doing what she's doing now. So we'll see. Grows really fast. Crazy though. Like I realized I just cut her and I'm like, she's looking really tall. And then this is a spider plant pup that I got from someone on my local plant group. I feel like it's been looking rough lately, guys. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I feel like my spider plant's looking really rough. I know the edges are brown. I really should be giving this friend distilled water. We have very hard water where I am, but I feel like it's looking rough. And recently the little twine on this planter broke off and good thing I caught it because it could it would have just fallen and it would have really hurt some other plants that are really important to me. It's the same twine that's in that string of hearts. I don't know if you can see it right there. So I'm looking at changing out uh, that pot soon too. This one I might just crochet. So I like to crochet and knit and I make my own plant hangers. So I'm thinking of making my own hanger for this fellow here. No mushrooms, <laughs> no mushrooms. Oh, the lighting's getting really bad now. I'm so sorry guys. I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, next, oh, this is one of my favorites. This is my uh, philodendron mycon, which I love. Look at that new leaf I'm getting. And look, another. So I'm really excited for this. This plant I wanted really, really bad. And I managed to get some cuttings um, in exchange for one of those crochet plant hangers that I'm making. So she gave me a few cuttings of this philodendron mycon. She gave me a few cuttings of phil um, philodendron Brazil. So that's looking fantastic. I wish, I'm trying to think of a way that I can film the other way so you can see my plant shelf. Um, but I need to figure out, this room is really messy. So I have to figure out how I'm going to set that up. So sorry for like this view so far. In all my plant videos for the most part. This is my, I got these cuttings from my plant group as well. This is a Neon Pothos and it's been growing a ton. So this is a new leaf that's coming in. Here comes somebody, a new friend. New friends all around everybody. Oh my goodness, look at back here. There are new friends everywhere. I am so excited and I love this little planter. I got it in Rite Aid when it was on like clearance. And I'm thinking I should maybe rotate him a little bit, even though I want him to face forward. I'm gonna face him backwards a little bit, just to, so that he's reaching really far for that light. Another friend that I grew from Just Cuttings, oh, almost forgot this one. 
Here's another golden pothos that I grew from just cuttings. So there's maybe five or six cuttings in here. And not really shooting off a lot of new growth, I have to say, guys. Really, this is a new leaf here. And it's been a little slow to take off. I don't know. I'm thinking I might need some fertilizer. Um, I'm not sure what it wants. Checking for mushrooms, because this is also one that's in a hanging planter, well, hanging crochet that I use. This is the one that I paused for to get because I was like, that'll be hard for me to get to. So that's that friend. And another friend that I'm growing from a cutting, very small cutting actually that I got was this um, satin silver, sat, satin silver, no, satin pothos. Um, so it's a skindapsis, but I don't know what kind it'll be yet, honestly, because when I got it, I bought this I got a mystery cutting from buying cuttings from this Etsy seller, Mariah's Flowers, or Wildflowers. And with it, she gave me this free mystery cutting. And it's really hard to see what kind it'll be, because that leaf that I got was so small. So that's the only leaf I got, and then I got that with it too. And the new leaf is coming in, but it's still hard to see what it'll be. So, because the only thing she said was it was a um, satin pothos. But I'm, I'm curious to see if it'll be our, our, I can't say it, our, I don't want to say it wrong. You know which one I mean, the one with the little dots. Um, I have to practice my pronunciation. So that's that one. Um, I only just got this leaf also, brand new, within like the last month or two. So this one also sat kind of dormant for a while. This is my favorite that I grew from a cutting. This is my Marble Snow Queen Pothos that I also got from Mariah's Wild, Wild Flowers or Mariah's Flowers on Etsy. So I only had this leaf and this leaf. So everything else is new growth. This plant has absolutely taken off and I'm starting to see some roots at the bottom. So maybe soon, oh, I'll have to vacuum. Um, I feel like every plant person I watch on YouTube like says that, I have to vacuum. Um, really shooting off some really beautiful leaves like come on look at this leaf just gorgeous 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 they're just so beautiful and this new leaf right here is a brand new one that's coming in trying not to touch them too much and here comes a new friend so I am very excited about this plant I am very excited I don't know where I want to put it when it starts trailing or if I'm gonna get it to go sort of on a homemade trellis because my trailing shelf is a little full actually, so I have to think more of where I'm gonna put this friend. Oh, there goes the sun. Look how beautiful this plant is. By far one of my favorite plants. Very, very beautiful. Um, who else? Who else do I have? This might be a short video. It's not actually so many. Um, here is another golden pothos. And this friend I grew completely from notes. So had no leaves. And the person that gave me the cuttings for, I'm trying to grab it, it's hard, <laughs> who gave me the cuttings for this plant said, hey, I have a few strands that just have nodes and I heard you can propagate from them. Do you want them? And I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I was willing to try anything and plus I barely had any plants. So I propagated those nodes in sphagnum moss, and these are all leaves that came out of the nodes. So it can happen, and like very cute leaves, and even, I don't know if they'll grow much bigger than that, but there's a new friend already coming in right there, a new friend. And some new, some new friends were coming in and seem to have died off, so I hope more will come in. I'm not quite sure what happened with that buddy. Um, but wow. So this might be a short video. I thought I had more, but that's the bulk of my, maybe I don't have 50 plants. Don't get me started. I also have a willow tree propagating back there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has taken off right here. So a very big and very, very old willow tree in my neighborhood um, 
fell in our very last uh, rainstorm and everyone was really sad and we really wanted to save the tree and I went over there I'm gonna save the tree I took some cuttings and I'll just show you guys and it has been really amazing watching this grow I had to quarantine the cuttings for a while and spray them down with some insecticide because they definitely had um, aphids and I did not want that for my houseplants. Um, but look at the roots. Look at that. And I definitely do not have space in my New York City apartment to grow a willow tree. So I'm currently Googling like how fast does a willow tree grow because I want to hold on to it for a little bit. This was supposed to just be an experiment to see if I could do it. And obviously it worked, but I know I can't keep it. Uh, my boyfriend's mom wants a piece or two. So when we drive down to see them, I'm gonna bring a piece. But, um, oh, did I just break that piece, getting it out of there? I hope not, uh-oh. I'm really hoping I didn't just do that damage to this leaf here but it feels very cool. Um, and maybe keeping just a piece for myself to see where it goes and how big I can get it before I have to give it away to somebody who wants a tree. And then I'll give away the other cuttings. I'm kind of sad. I really would love to keep a part of this tree for my neighborhood, but I'm only in an apartment. I don't have anywhere to put a tree, unfortunately. So if you guys have done this, any advice? It's very much appreciated. Appreciated on what to do with this little tree cutting. And I have lots of propagations going, friends, so maybe I'll do a propagation box update. But those are all of, I'm eyeballing it over. Those are all of my baby plants. Oh, wait, hold on, I forgot something. I have this oregano. So this was also given to me by the same um, lady who gave me the spider plant. She gave me this piece of oregano. And I just like the way it grows. I mean, it smells really good too. I'm not a big oregano user, so I don't know what to do with it. But I do like it. It's just getting massive. It's kind of taking over, and I didn't think it would make it in this really small pot. So, any advice on what to do with the oregano besides chop it up and cook it, let me know. But, other than that, thanks for coming and checking out all the plants that I grew from Little Propagations. Uh, I'll update you them more in the future because they are really taking off now. Summer is just so wonderful. This is my first plant summer. And I, I just feel like I'm plant drunk all the time. But I see them and they're putting out new leaves. Like my Cebu Blue up here is just going crazy with new leaves. I, I'm, I'm just plant happy all the time. So I hope that you are all doing well and that um, you are doing what you enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.